Ew, ew. I bet Chunk is Morty, Rick and Morty. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Hey, kitten. Ooh. Hey, kitten. Hey, kitten. Hey, kitten. Hey, kitten. He was a retard. So I wanted to try to figure out what this young scruffy fella's deal is. So I dug a little deeper and it was just his next TikTok that put it all together. It all makes sense. So we're going to go through it together. Um, now, there's a copyrighted song in the background. I'm going to mute it, but we're going to read it together. So it's no big deal. It says questions I get asked for being 25 and unemployed. Roll the film. Do you still live with your parents? Yes, I can't afford my own groceries. Did you go to college? Yes, I played too many video games and failed. What are your hobbies? I am a Discord mod. Normalize this lifestyle. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> yeah, of course that kid wants to normalize that behavior. He's lazy and he knows it. I mean, instead of going out and finding a job, he'd rather sit in his parents' basement wearing bunny ears while he... Barks at his phone and then uploads it to his TikTok account. Jesus. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Now, we've got a quick video today just catching everybody up on the absurdities happening out there in clown world. And the one thing that really gets me, we're going to hear some insane things being said in today's video. And the one thing that really gets me is not just these, these insane things these people are saying, but they record themselves saying these things. And then they take it to the next step and they upload recording themselves saying these things to whatever social media they're using, whether it's TikToks, the Twitters, Instagrams, Facebook, whatever it is. And then they release it out there in the, for the world to see with no shame. Anyway, if you're wondering what's going on on the screen here, I don't really know. It's some creepy old guy dressed up like a little girl. I, that That's what it is. I mean... Oh, a spade a spade, right? That's what we're looking at. Bad touch! Bad touch! Stranger danger! All right, next up, this guy is going to explain to us why he feels like he is a trans woman and actually what the requirements are for being trans. Uh, maybe this will clear things up for some of us. Uh, by the way, pay no attention to the male pattern baldness or the goatee and beard this guy's got going on. Don't Nothing to see there. Roll it. I don't know what gender dysphoria is like for someone who's gender fluid. I've met some gender fluid people before. And it was like some days they felt more like a girl, and some days they felt more like a boy, or some moments they felt like a boy, and other moments they felt like a girl. And th that was my old friends that I had. Um, but I can't really speak for the experience, because as a transgender woman, I only have the transgender experience that I can share with anybody, because like, that's technically the only thing, if there's any requirement uh, for being transgender. You know, is that experience like, yeah, I remember growing up feeling like a girl, more like a girl than a boy and always wanting rather to move from the boys camp and go live in the girls camp. You know, like that was a continuous event throughout my life. And and that's what makes me trans, not how I express that. Like, I don't have to put on women's clothes to be a trans girl. If I'm wearing men's clothes like I was for the last 30 years. I'm feeling like a girl inside, <laughs> you know. Isn't that what makes a man? Mm, sure, that and a pair of testicles. Oh. So, because, let me get this straight, because this guy was, uh, for lack of better words, a horny teenager in a summer camp. He wanted to sneak over to the girl's side and give him a good rogering. That makes him a trans woman? <laughs> okay, let's keep it moving. All right, next up it says, did you know trans women can breastfeed? Uh, so, so this is a trans woman, so a biological man, talking about how biological men can breastfeed a little bit. Yeah. I have a different name for that, but roll the film. Did you know trans women can breastfeed? And this is great news, because I always wanted to breastfeed, but I thought like my dry t 
You give the kid an eating disorder? Kid just grows up and he's chronically sucking down the nozzles at Yogurt Land and I just have to be like, sorry, that one's my bad. Also, you might not know this about trans women. Our t are really far apart. And I would have fun with that. I would just have a baby on each in the middle of a door jam and be like, look at her go. She can breastfeed two babies in two different rooms. It's Ripley's, believe it or not. That's fucking disgusting. Now, I can't say exactly how I feel about this person or what this person said. Um, but that's why I'm going to be starting a Rumble account sooner than later. It was recommended to me uh, actually just recently. And a bunch of you guys have recommended it in the comments. So I thought about it and I don't know why I'm resisting. But I will be starting a Rumble account sooner than later. And I plan on doing uh, you know, some Rumble exclusive videos. So that way I can say exactly how I feel about people like this. So keep an eye out for that. I'll let you guys know when that's up and running. Let's keep it moving, please. Now, staying on the theme of men being able to breastfeed, we have this person here with the yellow hair. I'm not really sure what... Uh, someone commented on this yellow-haired person's TikTok. It says, only women can breastfeed and have children. That's what someone commented. Only women can breastfeed and have children. And here is the response from this person with the yellow hair. I hope you guys are ready for a good mind f***ing. Roll it! Hi. So I did stop by your page really quickly to see that you were 14 years old. You've got so much time to learn and be more open-minded and more kind and accepting towards other people. So let me just really quickly try and tell you why what you're saying is wrong and hurtful. Let's start with only women can give birth. I'm a man and I'm going to give birth. So you're already wrong there. Surely you can't be serious. But there are also lots of other people, people who are non-binary or intersex, and they give birth. And again, they're not women. Then the term breastfeeding versus chest feeding. Well, for some people, it's actually just more comfortable to call it chest feeding. Some women who have experienced trauma or been abused, they might prefer the term chest feeding. But then we loop back around to not all birthing people are women. So not all birthing people have breasts. Hence the term chest feeding. I understand that your opinions and your beliefs may be deep rooted and ingrained in whatever your parents have taught you to believe, and that's okay. You still have plenty of time to form your own opinions and even educate others in your life. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Nothing that person said was based in facts, reality, science. It was all simply based in feelings and delusions. That's it. <sighs> Real quick, we don't have any sponsors for today's video. If you would like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below. And I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video, unless stated otherwise by you. And we're going to be wrapping it up on this one, guys. I can't take any more. Uh, and um, we have another teacher here. Shocking shock. I know you guys are shocked. We have another teacher here on the channel. Um, and this teacher almost has a complete meltdown. She almost starts bawling her eyes out because she says one of her students misgenders her. I mean, what? It's clearly a woman teacher. Is he calling her miss or missus or something? And she doesn't like that. But listen, these people feel that every single person they come across in their world has to buy into their delusions. That's not the case. For example, I don't buy into it. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't either. Anyway, guys, things are clearly getting crazy out there. We can't buy into this stuff. We cannot buy into this stuff at all. At all. So please, please, please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll the film, please. I have a student in one of my classes that's homophobic, transphobic, sexist. Um, purposefully misgenders me. Uh, back in September, I tried to get him moved to another class because it had just been an ongoing issue. And not only was he rude and disrespectful, he was just like not trying um, and wouldn't take direction, would constantly argue with me. It's been an ongoing thing. Um, was told that it's too late in the year, couldn't move him, he would lose the credit. Yet they transferred someone into my class this month who was only getting half the credit. So it's okay for that kid to get half the credit, but not okay to remove the kid that's harassing me. Um, I went to the counselors today. I've been asking for a parent-teacher conference for months now. Hasn't happened. Counselors won't set it up. Um, but when I mentioned uh, the fact that he's misgendering me on purpose, I was told, well, some religions, you know, they don't have to do that because some religions don't agree with that. So they don't have to respect that out of public school. Now, I don't know if this kid is religious. I don't think he is, but the counselor sure is. 
and she made it obvious without directly saying it that she doesn't agree with who I am or my existence so that's fun um, and I hope she has the day she deserves are you totally deranged and you ain't black